The internet has a lot of people out there that want to do bad things and they want to get into people's computers. We're going to be giving you my top seven recommendations for you to check on your computer to see if your Wi-Fi has been hacked. Before we do get into that, my name is Emilio. I am a tech YouTuber. I love technology. I release videos every single week. So if you want to make sure that you stay up to date, why don't you click on the button on the subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Is there some strange behavior on your computer? When you log in, does it look slightly different? Does your wallpaper look different to what you had before? The text on your icons, are they the same? Is your mouse flickering? Does the mouse move on its own? Does the screen sort of blink from time to time? Does your overall login profile on your computer look a little bit odd? Are you running at a reduced speed? The computer, the network speed, the Wi-Fi is running a lot slower than normal. If you're downloading things, if you're going to websites and it's just not performing as quickly as it once did, why don't you go and actually do a speed test on your device? Check the performance and the speed of your network connection. You should know with your ISP, with your internet service provider, the speed that you should be getting on your internet and on your Wi-Fi. Are there an increased amount of pop-ups happening when you're on the internet? When you're opening up a website, are you getting a whole bunch of pop-ups showing up that before you didn't get? Go and interrogate the apps that you've actually got installed on your device. You should know what applications you have installed. If you don't, you need to go and find out and make yourself aware what apps you've got. Are there strange applications installed on your computer? If you're on Windows, you can go into the Add Remove Programs, into the Programs area through the Control Panel. If you're on the Mac, you can go into the area in your Finder and Applications. If you're on a smart device, do you know all of these applications? Do you actually know what they do? One common way that a hacker will get into your computer is via malware getting installed onto your computer and then an application, perhaps a screen sharing application, a remote control application that essentially allows an external hacker to be able to get remote access into your device. Are you getting strange messages on your computer? When you log into your computer, when you open up your phone, are you getting maybe your wallpaper saying your computer has been hacked, your computer has a virus, you're just seeing maybe ransom notes. A ransomware attack is something that is very, very common of a computer that's been infected with malware. Asking somebody to go and actually pay a ransom to be able to unlock some files. A very common one is when you open up your web browser, can you actually navigate to your home page? Does your home page pop up by default? When you go to a specific website, does it actually get to that website? Or are you redirected to a different page? Does the website look different to what you're expecting? Maybe you go to google.com and it directs you to some other website that looks very odd. Contact your service provider. Your service provider should be able to tell you from what locations people have been logging into your computer. If you're based in the United States, if somebody's trying to log in from Russia or from China, watch out. So keep some constant communication with your internet service provider in case you have been hacked. So what do you do from here? Well, one of the best things that you can do is you now go and download some software onto your computer to scan your computer and make sure that everything is clear. If you're on a Mac, I love Clean My Mac. I use it all the time, so you can go and download that one. I've got a link in the show notes below. Thank you so much for spending the time. I release videos every week, as I said, on tech. So why don't you click on the subscription button on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. We will see you on the next video.